Hey guys, welcome back to the Kool-Aid Podcast. Welcome back to another video. And to, on today's video, we're going to be talking and giving an injury update. We're going to some various Barcelona players. We're going to be talking about Alejandro Balde. We're going to be talking about Neil Martinez. And as well, we're going to be talking about Joao Felix. There, are, there is some good news and there is some bad news. So we're going to talk about everything. Uh, but guys, before we get started on the video, make sure to follow me on all my social media platforms. Everything's posted down below in the description. Go over there and check me out. That way you guys can stay up to date with everything that I do on the channel. But guys, let's get straight into it and let's talk about the first piece of news. And it is in regards to Alejandro Balde. Let me put it up right here. There we go. Um, but Alejandro Balde has recently undergone uh, uh, surgery on the tendon in his right hamstring. If you guys don't know, Alejandro, he did get injured in that game against Athletic Club in the Copa del Rey just last week. And he did pick up an injury. And so originally it, it was um, said that he would be out for, you know, like the rest of the season. And that is the case. And and continuing on, this is the official club uh, statement. Alejandro Balde undergoes successful surgery on the tendon in his right hamstring. The fullback was injured in the Copa del Rey game against Athletic Club at San Mamez. The first team player Alejandro Balde has on the ground, blah, blah, blah. The procedure was carried by Dr. Uh, Lacez uh, uh, Lepanion under the supervision of the club's medical staff in, Tur in, in Turku, Finland. The player is unavailable for selection and his recovery will dictate his return. But it's very likely that Alejandro Balde will be missing for the entirety of the season. And Barcelona were actually looking to see who can possibly replace him because just like with Gavi, when he got injured, you know, that allows Barcelona to activate Article 77, I believe, and sign a player uh, to basically replace him if he is out, I believe, for more than four months or something like that. And when Gavi was injured, Barcelona brought in Vitor Roque and the club was exploring options, seeing, hey, could we possibly sign another midfielder to potentially replace Alejandro Balde? Since you have both Hector Fort, Marcus Alonso, and Joao Cancelo to, to fill in the role that Alejandro Balde uh, leaves vacant. But Barcelona, and they, they said, no, we're not going to make any signings in this January transfer window. And I believe that's the right move. I don't think that Barcelona should be looking to replace Alejandro Balde. I think you should let Alejandro Balde recover and not make any you know stopgap uh, signings in the January transfer window because more signings like that is not what Barcelona needs. Uh, but guys, now moving on to some bad news. Uh, Joao Felix, he is injured. Now, Joao Felix in training on Tuesday morning. Uh, Joao Felix, he sprained a ligament in his right ankle, and he is unavailable for selection. And his return will dictate, and, and his recovery will dictate his return. Now, sprained ankles, it's it's not a serious injury, but those can take you out for uh, out of the pitch uh, for a while. It depends on how severe it is. Uh, if he recovers well, he could be back in onto the pitch next week. But if he recovers slowly, he could be back maybe, let's say, in two to three weeks. And that is what is currently being reported uh, at this moment. Uh, it seems that Joao Felix is going to be out for two to three weeks. Uh, and he will be available for the first leg against Napoli. Originally, it was saying that he was going to be missing a month of action. And a month of action means that he would be missing the first leg against Napoli. And that would be very, very bad news for us. Because as much as I have criticized Joao Felix, we do need every single player available for that huge clash against Napoli. And I'm so frustrated to hear this news because what is the medical team in Barcelona doing? This is another player who has gotten injured. And I recently saw a, a quote in a tweet basically saying that the only players who actually haven't gotten injured are Iñaki Peña, your goalkeeper, or Romeo, who's basically hasn't played so far this season, Fermin Lopez, who's had limited minutes, and Ferran Torres. And so when you're looking at the players who are actually um, injury-free, it's very few. It's only Ferran Torres. And even then, he hasn't played every single game. And the players who are uh, regular starters, they've been injured. And that's bad news. Uh, but guys, no, I'm talking about a different player. We're going to be talking about Inigo Martinez. Inigo Martinez, he did take part in some of the training with the team. And uh, it seems that like he should be 100% fit against Granada on the 11th of February. He did get injured in the Copa Rey game, which I, it's absolutely insanity. Inigo Martinez came in in the second half, played three minutes, and went down injured. 
how can you give Inigo Martinez the medical green light and him immediately having three minutes uh, of, of game time go down injured? That's that that's just a horrible job from the medical team. And and what's even worse is is that the medical team they've actually had a revamp just when 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 Xavi and Laporta came in. And I'm just like I'm mind blown by how, by the incompetence of the of this medical team. How do you have your players constantly get injured? That's something that we have to um, look at under a microscope. Uh, a microscope. Because uh, just take Dembele at PSG. Dembele at PSG hasn't gotten injured once so far. Dembele, the the, the player who always gets injured, hasn't gotten injured at PSG once. The medical team uh, from Barcelona is absolutely a joke. Um, but guys, now talking uh, some positive news. Uh, I want to be talking about Fermin Lopez because this is breaking news. Uh, Fermin Lopez is on the verge of being registered as a first team player. Barca have already initiated the process and it will be completed in the next few hours and he'll have a new number. His contract has been renewed until 2028 and this is reported by Marta Ramon from Rack One. Now, having Fermin Lopez renew with the club and be promoted to a first-team player is absolutely amazing. I'm such a huge fan of Fermin Lopez. I think he offers something that none of the, our other midfielders in, in our squad can offer. He has some versatility. He has that physical presence. He can cover ground. But at the same time, he's technical. He has a good shot on him. And when, when you think about his characteristics, it's very similar to Pedri. But Fermin Lopez, he has more of an engine on him. And I think Fermi Lopez is a player that is exciting. And what, what's an even bigger positive is that every single time he goes onto the pitch, it shows that he cares about the club since he's running himself to the ground, tracking back, running, making tackles, giving passes, recovering the ball. And that is exactly the type of player that I want in my team. And him being promoted uh, onto the first team is great news because in that game, for example, against the Athletic Club, we couldn't bring him on because he was registered as a Barcelona B player. And um, <laughs> we we suffered because of that. You only had Hector Fort, uh, Pau Cuarci, and Laminio Mao, uh, three uh, youth players. And it sucks that that's a rule because you can only have three youth players at one time. And uh, for her, Fermi Lopez being registered means that we can now field uh, technically four, but in reality, three. Um, but guys, that was it for the Barcelona news of the day. Uh, later, to, later tonight or tomorrow, I'm going to be making a news regarding Xavi's press conference uh, because he, there were some big, big quotes which were very interesting. Xavi hits out uh, against the media. So make sure to stay tuned for that video. And also tomorrow is the watch along uh, for Barcelona's game. Uh, I, I believe it is against Granada. Is that it? Um, Barcelona? No, it's against Osasuna in the week. No, um, February 11th. Is, what am I talking about? Um, but, guys, I will be making the watch along uh, for that game, Barcelona versus Osasuna. We are playing at home. Uh, so that's a positive. But um, guys, that was it for the Barcelona news of the day. De definitely let me know your guys' thoughts on everything that we have discussed be down below in the comments. What do you guys make of other handles about this? Uh, you know, going with uh, the surgery is going to be out for the rest of the season. And what do you guys make of Joao Felix and, uh, and Fermi Lopez? Uh, but guys, as always, thank you guys for watching. I thank you guys for supporting the channel. And as always, guys, remember, like, subscribe, and comment. And I'll see you guys all in the next video.